Hi Gemini, this is Marianne here from Revealing Light Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality. How are you wherever you are in the world when you're watching? A huge shout out to you, Gemini. I want to do your tarot scopes for the month of December, Gemini. This is for your sun sign, rising sign, or if your moon is in Gemini, uh, please uh, feel free to stop by and tune in. Uh, it's a general reading only, so if it resonates, claim it. If not, move on. I'm, you know, in the tens of thousands of viewers that will view this, it's not going to be specific uh, to the one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so uh, bear that in mind. It will resonate with some, may not resonate. Uh, but I trust that with, you know, others. But I trust that those that it does resonate need to hear these messages at the time that I'm reading. I'm just seeing orbs are uh, here. Uh, I'm feeling them actually close uh, to me. So um, let's uh, tune in. Uh, also, I don't do face-to-face uh, -face personal readings and I'm not on WhatsApp. Anyone approaching you, um, offering you a personal reading, it's not me. So don't be don't be taken in. Uh, the comments section on YouTube puts a dark grey circle around my channel name and that's how you know it's me anyone else pretending to be me they're scamming a lot of readers it is not me block and report report please i'm not on whatsapp never have been never will all right so um let's uh tune into you clairvoyantly uh psychically and see what if i can pick up um Okay, so what am I getting? So you're carrying, uh, again, I'm getting that Ten of uh, Wands type of vibe. So um, it could be that coming into Christmas and a lot of a lot of this is coming up in others' readings as well. A lot of this energy in December is about laying down burdens and allowing yourself to experience happiness for the first time, perhaps in a long time. It's been another difficult year in the evolution of the earth uh, and uh, we've been all carrying it collectively as we um, ne negotiate, navigate and confront uh, and manage a very rapid changes one way or another. So whether they be political, whether they be financial, whether they be whatever the change is for you, uh, they've been rapid, uh, rapid fire in 2022, literally since about 2020, I'm feeling. OK, so uh, let's uh, see. Let's tune into your energy. So I'm getting the word victory. So some Geminis have had a victory uh, or could be having a victory in December could have been around a decision that you've made um, which you weren't sure was for the better but I'm hearing that it or feeling that it actually was or will be for the better it was a difficult decision and one that you had pondered over many months um, and you just weren't sure if you were doing the right thing because it was one of those, I think it was one of those decisions where it could have gone either way. And I think you'll start to see the signs that it actually did go the right way in December for you. All right, clairvoyantly, what am I seeing here? Yeah, that was a mat, some sort of mountain, literally that, not literally, but figuratively, that you had to climb. Some of you actually could be going to visit uh, family in the mountains. There's, you know, there's more than one message here. Uh, and you could be feeling, of course, that that will be a little bit of a burden, but it'll actually be a lot better than what you think uh, it will be, uh, partly because forewarned is sort of forearmed in a way, uh, and you can take evasive, I'm just hearing evasive measures, um, and whatever that may be, it, it could be just letting the, the sling and the arrow go by you and, um, you know, not hit its target and then, you know, people get tired after a while of firing things when people are just doing that. <laughs> okay, so uh, clairvoyantly, I'll put the pen down because I'm just getting phrases here and it's coming pretty thick and fast. Um, and let's see what images. Uh, you could be doing the firing yourself, literally firing of um, messages. Uh, some of you could literally be sending messages and I'm just getting to a young person or young people, grandchildren, daughters, I'm feeling it's a female, uh, female um, grandchildren or daughters that are, are coming here now. Uh, you could be um, making an effort to to get in touch. This could be somebody that you're estranged from. Um, let's see. Let's see what else I can see here. Yeah, there's some kind of truth 
you know, facing the truth or a truth that was exposed that may have led to uh, an extra an, an extra estrangement. Um, and I feel there's uh, the possibility. It's not a it's not a certainty, but the possibility of coming of a coming back together, as long as the person can see clearly what your motives are. And, of course, when they see that, when you're being absolutely transparent, then trust can be formed. I feel it's a young person, for someone specifically that I'm speaking to. And we are more connected than what we think. Um, it's a, it's, I think it's a grandchild or a daughter here that I'm getting for someone that needs to come back together with them. Uh, now is the time to do that. Or if you've already done it, it will go better than what you think it will. Okay, what else can I see here? <laughs> okay, who's going nature hiking, <laughs> bird watching, that kind of thing? I'm seeing that, those kind of images. Um, I don't know, there's a lot of tranquility around here. You know, Geminis very rarely stop, do they? They're always on the go, communicating, you know, words, thoughts, um, but I feel, you you know, this is a time when you should really down tools and uh, immerse yourself in nature and quieten your mind. Uh, there needs to be, I'm hearing, a recharging of the batteries. And I think that's true with all of us. All right. Thank God for the holiday season. <laughs> all right. I'm using my Revealing Light Oracle and the Lunar Somna Tarot. So just have a look at the deck cover so that you know. You know what tarot I'm using. Okay. And my Revealing Light Oracle, of course, is my own deck. And details of that are on my website. Okay. All right. Messages for Gemini for the month of December. Gemini in the month of December. Gemini in the month of December. Yeah. So I think there's a, there's a transparency here for others. Uh, don't keep secrets, I'm hearing. Um, put faces to names. Don't try and um, keep the identity of someone secret. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing clairvoyantly. That's another message coming, uh, specifically coming through for somebody. And I'm just the messenger, so you take it however you want to, want to uh, hear it. All right. So... Gemini, December, show me clearly. Messages from Spirit, Gemini, December. Mm, another Ace of Cups feeling, which of course is what uh, what is on offer for us. I think, generally speaking, we might be surprised at how warm and friendly <laughs> this Christmas actually is. I've got Saturn energy here. Change, at times not easy, but often necessary. Uh, yeah, again, giving way. Giving way to things changing. It's time to take that leap, to make that decision, to whatever you've been putting off, it's time to do it now. Contemplation, what lies beyond is a new pathway and beginning. Jupiter energy. I feel also some of you may have big life decisions to make in December about the new year. It could even be a relocation and a move, a home move. They're big, big, big decisions. And we've got observing, yeah, um, resetting fixed beliefs and moving forward. Um yeah, it's kind of like the north, the moon is the, the energy here, the north node of the moon. If we fail to hear or see or bring through the knowledge that we've acquired in the past or from the past, we can't move forward into our purpose. We just get in our own way. And sometimes stubbornness and fixed beliefs are responsible for that. So this is a time of change, exploration, embrace change in your life because it can lead to discovery. What's underneath here? Hope. Uranus energy, even in the dark, the light of hope has just been waiting to be seen. And some of you think, you know, this estrangement can't be fixed. It can be. It doesn't matter how, how uh, deep the estrangement is, it can be fixed. All right, let's uh, pull from the loom, 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 uh, lunar sumner and get some uh, more specific messages for Gemini in December. So 
What are the challenges, the wins, the opportunities coming for Gemini in December? Gemini in December. Can you show me clearly? Gemini in December. And uh, a special message for the violinist out there. I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing somebody playing a violin. Uh, there's a message there for either someone you know that plays a violin or played a violin or for you. Um, somebody is trying to make contact there. All right, Gemini, what's happening for Gemini in the month of December? Whoa, new life, babies, baby on the way. Okay, Page of Cups, surprise. Um, something you weren't expecting could be an offer, an offer of friendship, an apology also, but something that, that you weren't expecting. You know, it's not a bad thing. It's it's actually a good thing. Now, we have the King of Swords. Could be coming. That's your energy. But it could be coming from an Aquarius. It's air energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Uh, it's strategy and planning. Um, it's, it's, it's the need for a strategy and for planning. But it's also attaining that um, mental type of wisdom, not falling into the, uh, uh, this came up for Libra as well, not going down into the weeds, but being able to stay and balance uh, with the emotions here. Ah, oh, yeah, the devil moving through toxicity, something you're chained to, you're going to free yourself from, and it could be this um, unending <laughs> toil. <laughs> Gemini's like to work hard. Maybe it's time to really take that rest. Now, for some, the death card, something has ended in the past. And I feel that some have lost, some that I'm speaking to on this forum now have lost some people uh, or person, special person. Somebody has actually passed over. And I'm just getting the message, there's new life coming. Hmm. Four of Wands, family, celebrations, reunions. Anyone who I'm talking to that's lost a dearly, a dear one, there's new life on its way to you in the form of a birth within the family, for example, a wedding within the uh, family. Um, the Eight of Wands. If you haven't, this is similar to Libra's reading. You should look at that too if you've got any placements in Libra any major placements eight of wands messages coming through very very quickly to you important messages three of swords mm, again i'm picking up someone who's been grieving someone who's, who's been divorced estranged heartbreak here well not for long not for long because i've got the sun card happiness joy warmth you've had to make that decision in the hopes and fears uh you had to carry that burden and make that decision and you've kind of been a bit fearful about that but here we've got the knight of swords as the outcome the truth coming forward very 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 quickly and then we get we got knights now libra had queens now you've got knights in the outcome card moving forward very very uh surely and steadily resiliently towards progress uh and we've got a major major truth uh coming through here Ten of Swords, yeah, it's a relationship, something has ended. Uh, we've had got circles of support and we've got the world again, the endings uh, and new beginnings and the lover's card. So this is about a relationship that's ended in whatever way it did end, um, a loving relationship. It's time to move on now and you will move on. You will move on. But if you have to extend the olive branch, then do so a time for resetting those fixed beliefs all right that's your reading gemini thanks for tuning in and bye for now